how to create apps to make you money every day with Happy Gen. And my name is Crystal Wilson. We're in the next video. And this is where the fun starts. This is where we're going to build our first app. It's going to be a test app, actually, just to see if everything is working. Now, we've already uh, downloaded our images, put two filters on our images. We put a flip filter and another filter. Uh, I think we use Prisma. And uh, introduce you to a few other tools where you can put uh, filters on your images. Okay, so the hard part is over. This part is easy. This part is easy. It's going to take about five minutes. But I'm not gonna, don't hold me to that because I also have to show you as I go along. But it literally takes five minutes. All you do is add your content. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you don't have uh, the Epigen App Builder, go ahead and click that link uh, in the description. And uh, go ahead and sign up. Get the free 15-day trial. And go ahead and log in. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to log in. Okay. And let's see, okay, here we go. Now we're going to go to apps. Okay, we're going to create our first app. I'm excited. I hope you are too. You have not created any apps yet. Create our first app. Okay. Now through our templates as you can see we had all kind of templates and I'm going to show you how to make most of these if not all of these but we're going to go to theme keyboard okay so go ahead and uh, select this template now I'm going to take a look at it and see what it's going to look like that's the Avengers okay and uh, that's one you we're not going to build for a while <laughs> Because I explained earlier about copyright infringements and everything. But anyway, let's go to select this template. Okay. Now, here's a uh, here's a tip or information. It says check out this academy lesson. I'm going to browse through this real quick. Open out another link. But this basically shows you everything you need to do in a nutshell. Okay. How to create your app project. Select your template, which we just did. You're going to put in your app name. And your, um, your package name and your app, or app name. Yeah, package name and app name. Okay. Then you're going to go to uh, your app interface where you're going to uh, set up your the colors uh, and hex codes for your uh, colors for your app. So, anyway, you can look over that if you happen to get stuck somewhere. So, what we're doing is Neon, Neon uh, Wolf Keyboard, Keyboard Thingy, let's try thingy. Okay, now it max is 70 characters, of course. We're not near that. But what you can do, um, just for the search engines, um, you can add a little extra. Uh, but we're not going to do that right now, you know, to make it uh, ASO friendly. We're not going to do that right now. Your package name, that's going to be your developer name. Uh, mine happens to be Thumbtack Games. But whatever your developer name is, you put it there. Mobile at mobile, okay? Whatever it is. So let's just, uh, let's just try something. And if you can't use that, it'll let you know when you click that, okay. They didn't, but anyway, let's go back to Thumbtack Games. Okay, no spaces or, or uh, special characters in that. Your app name is going to be your app name all together, and it can't be no longer than 20 characters. So we're going to go with Neon Wolf Keyboard. Let's try that. Okay, simple, straight to the point. This is going to be version 1.0. Okay, and as you build different test versions and so forth, and as you update your app, you know, you can, uh, you know, go to different versions and so forth. Okay, uh, yeah. So, the app icon, we're going to leave that for now because I'm going to show you a ninja trick as far as making your icon that nobody does. 
I haven't seen it anywhere but me. But I'm going to show you that a little later. Privacy policy, we're going to get to that a little later. Okay, I'm going to show you a privacy policy maker. Okay. So, let's go ahead to next. Okay. This is our de design. Okay. You get primary color, accent color, and so forth. Um, now, what we're going to do, um, and they suggest you use, you know, Google Material Designs. We're not going to do that right now. You can look at that a little later. But uh, I want our app to have what somewhat of a uh, black, a black uh, color to it. So uh, I'm going to just choose. Let's see, I'm just going to choose the color. So I'm going to go with a little black there, the primary accent. We can make that a. Uh, I don't know. Let's choose. Oh, didn't need to do that. <laughs> okay, let's choose some a neon type color. How about that? Let me go to neon type. Let's do it like that. Okay. Text color. We always want to make this black. Okay. Because when uh it shows up, your your theme has been updated. If it shows white, you're not going to be able to see it because the background will be white. So we're going to make it text color. Or we can make it any color, any color actually. Let's make it, um, how about that color? Okay. Primary color. Let's make it black. Or a little grayish. How about like that? Okay. And you'll see these, uh, when uh, background color, we'll keep that white for now. Second day color, we'll leave that like it is. Okay, submit. Okay. Now, App Engine is guiding you through this. Next, add some content to your app. Okay, this is our app, Neon Wolf Keyboard Theme. Let's go to content. We're going to add, add content from my computer. It's import content, not sure if that is. I haven't used that. But let's go to add content and we're going to get the images, flip and uh, Prisma images. Okay. So let's go to our. We want Prisma and Flip, right? Okay. And from here, oh, I never did delete that other uh, image when Prisma did it twice. But anyway, let's choose. Uh, I don't want that one. Well, yeah, let's choose that one. That was from the other image editor that we had. That we were using, I believe it's the funny photo. So click that, and you're gonna see it load right there, then upload. Okay, so that's one. Okay, let's click again. Let's add the wolf, the face of the wolf. Upload. This is all you do. Okay. Go to the next one. Okay, and upload. Okay, go to the next one. Now I'm going to do about five of these. Let's go to that one. I like that one because it's, it's the blue is kind of off. It doesn't really match this one. But anyway, like I said, and that's the Prisma filter on that. Looks good. Looks good to me. Uh, let's go with uh, this one. Okay, that's six images. Okay. All right, we're going to go with those six for now. Okay. And, uh oh, keyboard background must be between two and 450 kilobytes. Okay, that means that image is rather large. And let me just do a quick. Uh, I want to see what side that image is so we know to use a small image. I think it was that one, right? Let me check something real quick. Uh, smaller. Okay, I want to see exactly what size that was. Okay, it was this one, I believe. 1885. Okay, yeah, it's pretty big. Now remember, from the uh, training on our images, when we do the flip, we resize it. Remember, we resize it. Uh, a horizontal by to like five six hundred to where to where it gets we want it between five six hundred but between four hundred and six hundred okay that's the ideal size 
Okay. So anyway, we can't use that. So anyway, uh, let's go with these. Okay. Let's go with these. We got five. Well, let's put another one up. Okay. I'm being indecisive. Let's put that one up. Okay. And upload. Okay. Ready? And save content over in the corner. And guess what? App is built. It's actually built. Okay. Well done. Your app content is updated. I'm gonna go back to my apps. And I hope I'm not going too fast with this, but my app is built. Okay. Uh, general settings. We're not going to uh, do this as of yet. Uh, but here you can use your push notifications, you know, you can use your app menu to add your other apps and basically promote your other apps inside of this app, okay, or other apps. It's like an app chain sort of type thing. But anyway, we're going to go to uh, monetization, okay. Now, since we don't have our ad mob account yet, or if you do, fine. But if you don't, don't worry about it. Okay, so uh, don't have the ad mob account yet. We're gonna use their ads for now. Here's the banner code, and I'm gonna explain a little the ad mob a little later. Okay, that's for the banner, and this is for the interstitials. The interstitials are what's gonna make you the money. Those are the full screen, like pop up type ads, and you'll see for sure. Okay. Um, Yep, that's it. Let's go ahead and save monetization settings. Okay. Next step, export our APK. And that's it. So that's in the build. It's in the queue. So it's, it usually takes about five minutes. And what you have to do is uh, refresh it to get it to uh, turn green. But, you know, it usually takes five minutes. Sometimes it can take longer. Okay. So, I'm going to pause the video while that APK file is building. Okay, real quick, I want to show you something. If you try to refresh it, and it says still in queue, this will, will happen. It'll just say it's still in the queue. Okay, it's ready. Okay, all right, good. Okay, that didn't take long. Okay, so, APK is ready. This is what we're going to do next. Download APK. So, wait for me. Yeah, so let's go ahead and download our APK. I want to show you what I'm going to do. <clears throat> okay, we're going to download it and put it in a separate folder. Remember, organization. Because once you start pumping these apps out, you got to keep everything organized. You got to name your bills, which is very important. So you know exactly where you're at in your app building process. Okay, so we're going to put this in our uh, folder. Neon Wolf Keyboard Bills, okay? So, there's the name of it right there, Thumbtack, okay? It has a bill number on the back of it, okay? Uh, you can just leave that there for now. Let's just put test one dash, something like that. Just know that this is the first app bill, or you can put, name it first app bill, whatever you want to do. Uh, okay, let me delete this one. Okay, all right. Test app build, uh, whatever it is. Matter of fact, let me take those numbers off. And I guess that's uh, Appy Gens, something with Appy Gen, I don't know. Test one build, okay, let's, let's call it that, okay? So you see I have my builds folder. Okay, and like I said, what you do, just right click, make a folder. Label it Bills, Neon Wolf Keyboard. Okay, so our next step is transferring that bill, that bill onto our phone so we can test it, uh, so we can download it, install it on our phone and test it out. Test out some keyboards and so forth. So we're gonna do that. Okay, I had to hook up my phone using my USB cable. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is open the phone and Find this test app and move this down into my folder, to my phone folder. Grab and move it down. Okay, 